Today we are going to look at the helium field drive. The model is the Barracuda. Barracuda Pro, 10 terabyte drive. Now, this is a disclaimer here. This is uh, educational purposes only. This is not an advice how to recover data from your failed drive in any way. So, I'm going to show you some ways of getting this thing opened up. We're going to try to get this thing opened with uh, regular tools that you can find in uh, Home Depot or like Big Five Goods or anything like that. Now we're going to use a WISE here uh, instead of a hard drive recovery uh, disk station. It's usually a little bigger configuration platform <coughs> that has two slots for two drives in it that uh, allow you to manipulate the inner sides of the guts uh, of the drives, like swapping heads, bladders, and so forth. The reason why we don't use that is because, first of all, not everyone is going to have that at home. The second thing is that one is quite light, uh, even though it's still made of metal, it is lighter than the Wise, so I find it more convenient to use Wise instead of that. And since we don't need any clean environment because there is still uh, a cover with the screws underneath the thin aluminum foil seal, which is on top here, that hides the screws inside. That's uh, usually the case. Um, so I haven't opened the Barracuda Pros yet. I did open the Exos and I did open the Western Digital drives before, uh, Hitachi drives as well, and uh, they all differ a little bit. So we're gonna try to do this Barracuda this time and see how it is inside and <clears throat> how to get it opened up. Uh, we're gonna use a certain... Uh, I was trying to see what uh, would be the best knife to getting it done. Usually it's done with a specially designed chisel set that is done by uh, one of the Serbian guys. Uh, it's a big company that produces all kinds of uh, hard drive tools. I'm sure some of you know that one. <coughs> so we're not going to use any of those chisels. We're going to use instead a knife sets. So I got a different knife. I got the Husky regular knife, uh, construction knife. I got uh, some of the other things here. It's uh, what is it branded? Bullseye Smith and Wesson. Uh, perhaps we be able to use this part to kind of open it up just like a tuna can. Uh, I do have a Leatherman tool. I do have. A bear claw knife here. I do have a Smith and Wesson bear claw knife here. This one is a really nice one. I like that the fact that it is serrated on the end and it's pretty thick on the end as well. So you can actually put it from underneath and kind of cut it from the uh, bottom to the top. Uh, we do have a plier set to peel the aluminum foil off, and we do have one of those things here too. It's a standard knife pocket knife. Well I do have a little cutters like that as well. So first thing first we're gonna find a way where is the best spot to penetrate the seal and then start cutting it. So I'm gonna start it from this corner over here and try it with this knife that way and that way we're gonna have to skip a little bit off the edge because uh, the wall is a little higher so that the aluminum seal can be actually put on top to hide all the screws and all the cover underneath there so we're gonna try to penetrate it from this corner over here and see how it goes So I think I got it managed to penetrate over here, so I'm going to stick some uh, bear claw in there and try to work it this way, putting the force on the edge and 
knife will be cutting it up and we're just gonna go like that and we'll see how it's gonna work out now this is gonna be a little problem because the penetration is really thin I made it with this knife so the corner the knife just goes right in there it's probably just like two or three millimeters from the edge inwards so we're gonna go like that there we go actually this knife works well too but I still would like to use any of this so we're gonna go you gotta be really careful so if the knife slips you're not gonna cut yourself so you need to be careful with that way so try to put the force not this way but upwards and that way it goes really slowly so I'm gonna put another pause here and work it through so I made it about an inch Maybe a little more here, so I'm still going through. It's probably gonna take me about, I don't know, maybe 15 minutes or so. So I'm just gonna go like that way. It slowly goes through. Yeah, this bear claw works really nice. This might be a really good substitute for a professional tool. So I'm gonna put it on pause a little again. So I got it to the end over here. Need a little bit. Cuts over here on this side. Took me a good 15 minutes or so. Now I got three more sides to go. So here's a little insight for you. I got all the to the end on this side and we got the corner so this is that aluminum cover that I told you about if you want to look at it closer this is how it looks like if we zoom in see it's pretty thick so I gotta go that way, going like that. Same thing on, on the other sides as well. Let's see. I think towards myself it's a little bit easier to do, so we're going to do it that way. Yeah, I decided I'm going to lift the cover a little bit, because maybe it will be a little easier to do. Yeah, actually, we may be able to just roll it without cutting it. So why don't we use pliers? Yeah, there we go. It's a little uneven, but we'll get it figured out really much more easier way than just cutting it. There we go, that aluminum seal is off. So now we're gonna get these things off nicely and clean.
Yeah, let me just clean it up a little bit and then I'll continue after I clean it. I'll show you what's going on here. So I've got to lift it up a little bit on this side with the pliers. And just get it nicely peeled off. It's coming out real nice actually. So we're going to get this side as well. gotta warn you that helium drives have a helium sensor inside and it allows to measure the level of helium inside and once the helium escapes the sensor will send that to the controller and the controller will not gonna spin up the drive so uh, if you hope that you can just swap the heads and get the thing going this is not going to be the case but uh, just so you know, helium is usually used to reduce friction when the drives are spinning at the higher speeds and in, in, in closed environments. So that's the main purpose of that. Let's see what we're going to get further. I've got to get it cleaned up a little bit. Now these edges over here, because we peel this cover off, this is pretty thick cover. I don't know how thick it is, but my guess it's about maybe 0.2 millimeters, maybe 0.1, something like that. But it's not foil, it's not easily bendable or easy to cut. And they weld it, they weld it on the perimeter. So there is a little bit of a sharp edges over here where you peel the aluminum cover off and you can get cut by moving your finger that way or that way so be careful all right so this is how it looks under the microscope and as you can see there is a deepening between the edge of the drive and the cover and it's pretty deep it's probably like five or more millimeters deep and this is where your knife have to get in when you start cutting the seal so this is the welding edge over here so this is where we start cutting it from this corner that way first and then we went that way. You can see how I tried to find the distance from the edge. So we got it peeled off. This is a little nicer edge. This is where we actually rolled it off without cutting it. So essentially all you have to do is just start it in one corner and then just use your pliers to roll it off. You don't need to see and see it, like mill it off, like some guys do. That produces a lot of dust, a lot more than what we did. You see how deepening it goes in? Right there, and it goes even deeper. So that's the cover. Once you take this cover off, in these seals you will be able to see the inner guts of the drive and then evaluate them if you want to evaluate it also you see this little 
cut out here. This is most likely the best place to start cutting it because it's much wider from the edge and it's easier to get the knife in. And it is from the controller side. So it is right. Let's see. Yeah, it's right there. So it's so it's on this side where the power is, and probably about an inch from the corner. Let's see. So the corner, yeah, it's about an inch from the corner. So this is where you need to start cutting it. And then just work yourself on the perimeter. So these are security seals, just the regular, same as the regular drive does. Covers the screws for the, this is where the head is, head and arm. Assembly is located. Let's see if we can zoom out. No, not on this one. Okay, so I'm going to pause it again and give you a different view. So I got the majority of sharp edges cleaned off. Again, this is where you need to start cutting it. I thought it was going to be from this side initially, just like the Exos does, but I don't know started from the opposite side anyways we got it really nicely cleaned taken off look at the edges yeah I think it's real nice this one is a little more edgy but not too bad this is where we started so we got it we got it up pretty well look at this I'll be honest with you I'll probably gonna try to find a way to actually unsolder or unweld this part just so I know how this uh, work out works out besides this cutting thing yeah this piece gotta get off I'm gonna get it off so. there we go Alright, I'm going to use a metal brush to clean this edge off from any kind of a smaller filings that didn't come off completely and then we'll see what's inside. 